Hey everyone, Retro here, doing something just a tiny bit different from the usual content today. Today, we're looking at stupid food. Uh, let's get into it. Oh boy. First time buying a local restaurant called Food and Love. Ordered a four cheese pizza and this is why they delivered. I think that's supposed to be what they delivered, but why is much more appropriate. <laughs> Look at that and tell me you don't just think why. That looks moldy. This looks like it sat in your fridge for too long and now it's grown a science experiment. Holy fucking shit, okay. That's like a ruby weapon, but it's a slice of pizza. <laughs> it's also garlic knots. It's also a calzone. Oh, oh, you, oh. This makes me sad to see. The, the, these are not like pieces of chicken. These are like little beached beluga whales. Assault bay is like what you do when you're, when you're like six beers deep and you think what you're doing in the kitchen is really cool. Like when you get that random stroke of drunk inspiration and you're just like, oh my god, I am the, I'm the fucking chef ever. Only he's somehow worse than me when I'm like six beers deep, burning the shit out of some frozen burgers. How does this guy have a restaurant? Like if this guy can get a restaurant, what, what am I doing wrong to where I don't have one? Hey, <laughs> I had a dream where there's this food called King's Hand. A hollow hand made of M&M cookie filled with Greek salad. I could not stop thinking about it. Here is the culmination of a week-long effort. Eh, no spoilers. Oh, oh my god. The mad chef has actually done it. I like the, uh, the addition of the, uh, the M&M's as nails and knuckles really went uh, anatomically accurate on this one. I've never actually had Greek salad, but I don't think I have had to of to know that that's, that's not gonna be good inside an M&M cookie. Okay, um, this is somebody's fetish. Like, there, there's no other way to describe this. You, you know, you, you don't get the lady in the lopsided tank top to oil up a wiener and that's just food content. Like, no, man. I don't like where this is going. Oh. Is that just like, is that like the molding gel? You, you like, you made like a cast to forge your, your queso gauntlets. Look at that, look at that. You can still see little bits of the, oh, there's little bits of the molding crap in there. Oh, as a sushi lover, this one hurts me. God. My mom baked her sushi roll in oil until it's not raw anymore, and then put it between two slices of bread. Like, home skillet, please. If you don't like sushi, don't eat it. If you don't like something, don't eat it. Don't fucking torture it until it becomes palatable to you. Just, just get like a tempura bowl or something. I don't, I don't know, man. This has just upset my brain. I don't even... I don't know what food is anymore. Oh. We made you an elf breakfast. Um, my, my dear friend, I believe the term you are looking for is mess. We made you a mess. Good morning. Clean this up. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, I like a good tomato on my burger, but I think the most upsetting thing about this image is the fucking amount of mayo on that. Oh. Oh, I think this joke makes itself. God, what what do people have against chicken? You guys get like pecked by a chicken as a kid? Because I did, and I, I make chicken that looks better than this. Okay, no, this looks like a fine sandwich, but just for what reason do you need that much meat on there? That is like three packs of lunch meat, my guy, in just that half. There's another half of this sandwich out there somewhere that is just, once you've got to eat it with a knife and fork, you, you're kind of missing the point of a sandwich, like this, this my friends, this is fine dining right here. You can see on the face of that guy in the background, he's like, he's trying to smile for the picture, but you can see on his face, he is so fucking done with this shit. Probably crazy, but I think tuna and Pringles might actually be kind of good. I'm gonna walk away from this video, and I'm never gonna look at food the same way again. Man, y'all motherfuckers really love constipation. Okay, no. No, no. If I will die on one hill, make it this one. I stand the french fry spoons. I'm here for that. You know... 
For once, I would have preferred a toothbrush. You know, I don't think I will. You know, this may be a peanut butter and onion sandwich, but I think the worst thing about this is that it's crunchy peanut butter. Ugh. I tried the so-called super slice. I was not impressed or amused. This is not a large slice of pizza. It is a regular sized pizza pie in an inconvenient triangle shape. As you can see, it has been pre-cut into a variety of awkward trapezoid pieces for shared consumption. This is a tacit admission by the purveyors themselves that the super slice is not a slice at all. It is just a pie. You know, I used to eat plenty of Rosarita burritos with nothing else on there. Maybe some cheese or onions if I was feeling especially uh, classy that day, but bro, you gotta at least have the decency to mash it up with a fork first. This is just the fucking Tower of Babel, but in burger form. In our arrogance, we sought to build towers to the heavens. Oh, fuck, man. You made a soup for me.